hello to all today we are going to discuss about the seven pairs of the contrasting traits or the seven characters studied by the mendel in the garden pea plant known as the pisum sativum now here i have made a column indicating the serial number character the contrasting traits and the chromosome on which the gene controlling the seven characters are found okay now by viewing this table you can see that there are seven characters and seven pair of contrasting traits a contrasting trait is having the dominant as well as the recessive one say for if the character is the stem height so character is one but it will be having two contrasting traits one will be dominant and another will be recessive say for if the dominant is tall then the recessive will be dwarf okay so let's have a discussion number one stem height now the stem height the contrasting trait for this stem height character is tall and dwarf the tall is the dominant trait and the dwarf is the recessive trait and the chromosome on which the gene controlling this character is found right is actually present on the fourth chromosome okay means i want to say that this character is controlled by the genes found on the fourth chromosome now coming to the second one seed coat color and flower color now before discussing this character you must know that in garden pea the same gene control both seed coat color and flower color and hence it is called as a pleiotropic gene now you must know that what is a pleiotropic gene pleiotropic gene means a single gene controls more than one characters here the single gene is controlling two characters one is known as the seed coat color and another is known as the flower color and that's why i have written here seed coat color and flower color because you can see that the gene controlling these two characters seed coat color and flower color is same and it is found on the first chromosome and it is found on the first chromosome and here you can see that the contrasting trait for the seed coat color is gray for the dominant and white for the recessive and for the flower color the dominant trait is violet and the recessive trait is white okay now coming to the third one color of cotyledon now color of cotyledon is the character and the contrasting traits are yellow is the dominant and green is the recessive one and the genes controlling this character and the genes controlling this character that is the color of cotyledon are found on the chromosome number first okay now fourth one flower position now this flower position is having two contrasting traits one is the dominant and another is the recessive the dominant one is called as the axial and the recessive one is called as the terminal and the gene controlling this character is found on the chromosome number 4th okay now character number 5 pod shape now pod shape in pod shape the inflated is the dominant trait and constricted is the recessive trait and the gene controlling the pod shape is found again on the chromosome number 4th sixth one pod color now pod color having green color as a dominant trait and yellow color as a recessive trait and the gene controlling the pod color is present on chromosome number 5th okay and the last character that is the seed shape seed shape is having two contrasting traits one is dominant and another is recessive dominant is round and recessive is wrinkled and the gene controlling the seed shape character is found on seventh chromosome so you can see here that the stem height that is the stem height and the next one is the flower position and the pod shape these three characters are actually controlled by the genes found on the chromosome number 4th while the seed coat color and the flower colors character are controlled by the genes found on the chromosome number 
first color of cotyledon is also controlled by the genes present on chromosome number first and the pot color is controlled by the gene found on chromosome number fifth and the seed shape is controlled by the gene present on chromosome number seven so what you have noticed here you have noticed here that the genes of seven characters the genes of the seven characters studied by the mendel in the pea plant are found on the four different pairs of chromosomes and these four different pairs of the chromosomes are one are one four five and seven what you notice here that no genes are found on chromosome number second third and sixth whatever the genes controlling the seven characters in the pea plant are found only on four pairs of the chromosome that is first pair fourth pair fifth pair and the seventh pair okay now many times the question is asked in the examination that whether the seven contrasting traits or the seven characters are found on seven pairs of the chromosomes because we know very well that p plant is having 2n is equal to 14 chromosome or the seven pairs of chromosome so what the student give the answer to that question that seven pairs of the characters are found on seven pairs of chromosome it will become wrong always remember that the seven pairs of the characters or that is the traits or the seven characters are found only on four pairs of chromosome that is first fourth fifth and seventh so student these are the seven pairs of the contrasting characters studied by the mendel in the pea plant we will be coming soon with few more videos thanks a lot for watching me if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take